Hello, welcome to Chugging Along. It's me, Sam. And I'm Tim. And uh, welcome to our channel and to our video today. So if you've been watching our videos and following us on our channel, then we want to say thank you so much for all the appreciation, for all the yeah, support. thank you. And the comments. We've really enjoyed going through your comments and it's sort of mind blowing for us really to see so many people that are so interested in what we're doing yeah. uh, with our life on the canals. And we hope you're enjoying it as much as we are making it and showing it all to you. And if you are new to this channel, then welcome. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's today we're actually in Reading. Yeah. So yeah, when we look at the map and see that the journey that we've done all the way, we picked up at Wilton Marina, which is in Wilton Locks, isn't mm -hmm. it? So we've come all the way down, the, come down a bit of the Grand Union, yeah. then we've done the Oxford Canal. Last week we were in Oxford City Centre, yeah. weren't we? Which was really nice. Oh, we had a lovely. really, really great time there. Lovely place. And then, uh, well, recently we've just been on the Thames in between Oxford and Reading, yeah. and we've just we got loads of great footage on that, didn't we? And yes. um, yeah, we're excited to uh, share a video about that in the future. Mm. But today, today's video is actually about a smaller topic. Um, well, it doesn't sound that big, but it's made a massive, <laughs> massive it's change massive to our change lives, has not it? Like, yeah, it's oh been... yeah, absolutely. So basically, we're more mobile now. Yeah. And uh, we haven't got four wheels, uh, not yet. That will be in the near future. Well, you future. do when you add them both up. Yeah. Oh, but... no, true. Yeah. <laughs> we them, but individually, there too. So yeah. um, we basically we have folding bikes. And why bikes? Well the reason for that is even though we can obviously get around on our narrow boat there might be times when we're moored up and we might not be that close or walking distance to the nearest village or supermarket yeah. or to near a station. So having bikes just gives us a bit more freedom to be more mobile to get around. Yeah. And folding because it's great for storage. Obviously space and storage is at a premium on our narrow boat. So we thought folding would give us more options for how we could store it. Yeah, you do see um, some normal size ones, don't you? Not yeah, all, no, you do. Not, not everyone with narrow boats has folding bikes. No, so. no, that's very true. And there are, we've seen um, some narrow boats that have gone by and they've had um, the bikes on top of the roof or they've had them chained to the back of the boat on yeah. the stern. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we found a place in particular that we thought would work for us on our boat. Uh, but before we actually show you that, where did we actually? find or look for bikes. We looked in the places like Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace. Mm. They were the two main places uh, that we looked where you can localise your search and see sort of second-hand things in your local area. Our two bikes actually came off Gumtree. Mm. And folding bikes, they might actually surprise you, they're actually quite expensive when yeah. you get them oh, brand yeah. new. <laughs> and uh, we got the cheapest <laughs> ones, uh, the, right at the bottom of the spectrum. Our, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> target sort of price was 30 pounds and working Do you yeah. know what I mean? like, which actually quite difficult to find a lot of them in that price range that you can get it to you but it's got a puncher or it needs a new yeah, energy but no no we want no, 30 no. pounds and working we did manage to find two and uh, yeah they are on the boat now aren't yeah. they so yeah they are so I think we should actually uh, show everyone what the bikes look like and where they are yeah let's go and have a look right so we're gonna show you what the bikes look like and where we saw them so over here we've got bike number one uh, so this one we have right against the wall of the engine room we can have it completely folded up so it doesn't take up too much space in here and it's worked out quite well because you can actually lift up the handlebars in this one so it can help keep it flush against the wall here and also we can bring in the bicycle frame so it doesn't take up too much space when you're trying to get off the bike so off the boat sorry so it's brilliant and then bike number two over here Whilst we actually can fold this bike, when we did do that and put it on the boat, we noticed that it did stick out quite a bit and the weight of it was sort of bringing it down. So we decided that we would just keep it unfolded and um, that actually has worked out quite well because yeah, it fits sure, in really it? well into the space actually for us. Now, to keep both, both um, bikes secure when we're on the boat, we've actually got these bungee cords attached to them. So that helps just to keep them in place so that we don't get any movement from the bikes. And so far it's worked out really well for us. So we're very happy with that. Okay, so this is bike number one coming off here. Okay, so this 
is the one that's a lot more folded up from the two. It's called the Spider City, okay? So it's called the Spider because apparently it folds in eight ways. However, when we seem to fold it up and fold it, it only does it five ways. So we just call it the City Fiver. But yeah, let's just uh, count and show you how we do it. So first things, handlebars come down, one, two. Okay, so that's two. Push those in like that. This clasp comes down and that holds that in place like that. The next one, this is amazing, this is the frame. This is what makes it really compact and small and fits it uh, just in front of the door there. So you just go like that pulls out all the way up, so that's number three. Okay. So then after you've pulled that frame up, you get this little pin, so just to stop the frame folding in on itself, that just simply spins around like that. So nice and tight. And just leave it down there, so that's three. Next one's here, this is really cool. Four. Five. Stand down. And there you have it your city fiver really is as easy as that this one is really cool it's a little bit slower than the other one it's got really diddy little wheels but it's just it's really really cool i really really like this so let's go and have a look at bike number two but a little bit heavier to get off so This is the BSA, which stands for Birmingham Small Arms, old school British company. Pretty cool to have it, might even be old enough to get a free bus pass this one. But when it gets going, it gets going. This is such a nice bike, like if one of us is just going out on the bikes, we'll always take this one. It flies past like that. So as Sam said, we don't fold it up because when you fold it up, it just it's quite heavy, it's quite messy and it actually creates less storage space. So when it's off, it's off, but it's nice and short so it fits in there perfectly. And then it even has a little bell there that says world champion on it. And uh, that is pretty much it with this bike, apart from the fact we absolutely love it. So yeah, really, really happy with it. So now I'm gonna uh, talk about the uses of the bike. So obviously it's not just cycling as well. Uh, one time we needed more drinking water and the closest water point was about a mile and a half away. So I decided to ride there on my bicycle with three five litre bottles of water, filled them up, had two dangling off the handlebars, one bungee corded to the back like that. And yeah, it just felt really cool just sort of riding back and using it as a sort of industrial form of transport. I really, really liked that and uh, got a little bit confident after that. Uh, put on a full cassette of all of our toiletries so the full toilet put it on the back bungee corded that on and that didn't go as well i've got my blue i've got my gloves i've got the cassette bungee cord to the back of the bike so uh i'm off to thrup which is about a mile away we can... oh, oh no God. <laughs> and we're not off to thrup so here's some shots of us riding our bikes in oxford city center hope you enjoy
very much for watching today's video. We hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed those, all those clips of us cycling around Oxford City Centre as well. Yeah, yeah, true. And uh, if you're interested in seeing future videos, yeah, uh, please hit subscribe. And if you've got any suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comments below. So yeah, now it's time for that controversial ending, but we're gonna keep doing it no matter what, so no matter what you do in life, guys, you have to remember to keep... keep.